Do I have anything in my pee? Oh, yeah. You got bunches of things. You got Sorry, some blueberries. I'm alive. Hello, everyone. So, we are about to go on a trip that I, both of us, have been very excited about for a long time. You're I'm next level business. Very excited about level. it. And we can tell you because this will be out on Saturday, which is now will have been like three days past the mm. surprise, but we're surprising my family in Washington Woo! and I'm so, so, so pumped. Um, so also just uh, if you want to follow us on Instagram because we'll be posting a lot of beautiful Northwest things. It's been a while since um, we post, we, we don't post on Instagram enough anyway. So we're going to Washington, it's yeah. gonna be tight. Um, we are going for a week, so we have to pack for a week. And if you saw our wardrobe, we have about a week's worth of clothes. So <laughs> no. literally we're packing, well I literally, I packed all but like three t-shirts. So uh -huh. um, we packed a good portion of our wardrobes. Mm -hmm. But the reason we're doing wardrobe video yeah. is because our clothes was the kind of the entry point to minimalism and travel was the entry point to knowing we had too many clothes <laughs> because Aubrey traveled every week and we would do things like, or a couple times a month, and we would do things like when we went on our honeymoon or other things and we would just overpack. Yeah. But we'd overpack in stupid ways. Like I would bring uh, five sweaters and five t-shirts. It's like I needed one sweater mm -hmm. and then eight t-shirts. We thought we would just show you guys kind of like how we pack. We actually have slightly different strategies for both of us, which mm. this kind of plays out in our wardrobe too. If you haven't seen both of our wardrobe videos, they're, we both like walk through our wardrobe and we have different strategies mm -hmm. for each of them. Um, so he's gonna talk more about like how it is it as a guy. I'm gonna talk more about it, how I do it as a girl. So this weekend, here's what I'm bringing. I'm bringing my black jeans as my one pair of pants. Nice. And I'm bringing my chubbies as one my one pair of shorts. And these are just to hang around the house and chill. That's it. And then when it comes to shoes, I'm bringing my toms. That's it. I'm bringing a pair of running shoes for working out. But so right here, pants and shorts and shoes. Boom. Nice. But. So you did that first, right? Did that first. So yeah. first thing is the jeans. That means every shirt I ring has to go with those jeans. And since I have shorts, ideally everything should go with the shorts and the jeans. Um, but my closet kind of interacts that way, so it's not a big deal. But everything needs to go with the jeans. Um, and then obviously the shoes need to match the jeans is the next thing. Um, and then also one jacket. You know, I don't need a bunch of jackets. I've got a nice green jacket here. Mm -hmm. Went ahead and brought a hat and a beanie that go with that. So that's everything right there. Everything goes together. And then the, the areas I don't want to skimp, which is my shirts, match all of it. This is my stack of, including working out shirts, I believe, eight shirts for a week long period. Obviously, oh, we've been over this in my, my wardrobe video. Oh, Simple look, color schemes. A... Is there Aubrey here? You're packing an Aubrey here? Simple color schemes right here. Every single shirt goes with everything else. And then two sweaters, it's Easter, so we wanted to dress up for one sweater. Mm -hmm. But two sweaters, eight shirts that go with my jeans, go with my shoes. Um, we'll go into a little bit more, some of the extra stuff we always pack. Uh, just clothes, that is my scheme. You start with the pants, go to the one pair of shoes you wanna bring, one pair of pants you wanna bring, one pair of shoes you wanna bring. And then don't skimp on the shirts, but make sure every single shirt goes with a combo. I basically bring items that like, any any item could go with any other item. So like I literally build my outfits, um, the majority of them in this uh, packing round is just like shirts, pants, and like sweaters or jackets. Mm -hmm. And so I brought like two sweaters and a jacket. So that's kind of like my outer stuff. And then like um, three different um, tops and then two pairs of jeans. And like I could do any combination of any of them and they would all work and all go together. So basically I have, um, well, like you said, it's gonna be Easter, so I just brought this dress. I have these uh, pairs of jeans and these pairs of jeans, both are high-waisted, so everything, like all my tops go with that. So I have, you know, my favorite tank top that I talked about in the wardrobe video, and then this, this shirt. So I have like three tops, and then I have my two sweaters, and then I have this bomber jacket, and then my heavier jacket in case I need that because it will be cold, and then a scarf. Literally the strategy is like I could take I could wear these pairs of jeans, and then I could wear this shirt, and then I could wear this sweater. And that's like a combination. Or I could replace the jeans with these jeans, and I could wear these together. Or I could wear this shirt with these jeans and this sweater, or with this bomber. Like I could literally do any combination, and it would be a different outfit. 
First of all, shout out to Merit. They are a really delicious, increasingly good coffee roaster from San Antonio. So hit them and local up if you can. Um, so we always try to bring some good coffee. We usually don't use an AeroPress except when traveling because we prefer, I prefer V60 or Chemex. Yeah. Um, or just espresso. But, and we're getting a little coffee nerdy. We should do a coffee video sometime. We totally should. We should do a coffee video. Tell us in the comments if you, like he is a, a very much a coffee nerd. And so yeah. I I've like become dining, one. Yeah, coffee but chemistry classes and everything. We would nice. love to do a video on that. So let us know if you want us to do that. While we're traveling, and here's what, if you don't know that much about coffee, want to drink good coffee, here's what you need to do. Uh, Air press is the best way to travel. Mm -hmm. um, also, this grinder from Rhino Wares, I guess. We got it as we'll a- We'll leave the link for this coffee stuff in the description. If we remember. Yeah. This, this is a dope grinder. It does yeah. a great job. It is tiny, portable, fun, <laughs> and awesome. And when and we go to my family, like, we can just like, oh yeah, that is pretty Literally awesome. fits in here. So like this yeah. is as coffee. high quality, as almost as bringing mm -hmm. like a Baratza grinder and a full V60 yeah. setup. I mean, this is this is all you need. So this is what we bring anywhere, mm -hmm. don't you think? Yeah. Anywhere, and if we don't bring it, we're angry with yeah. each other and with ourselves and with others. For me, because I do video for work um, and I need like, like I have a big um, MacBook Pro, so I need like something that can like Help, I don't know, just like help me bring all the stuff that I need because I actually bring a lot. Gear, yeah. All my camera gear and everything. This bag is the best bag I've ever owned and I've had it for probably two years now. So basically in in the top here, and I, I don't think this bag exists anymore because I went looking for it a couple months ago. I'll try to find like a similar bag if you're interested. Um, I can fit my laptop in here, my big laptop and any like notebooks or like I have a textbook in here. Um, this top compartment is where I keep like anything else. So like hard drives and stuff. any like hard drives or my memory card case or like camera batteries or like anything else that I need to put in here or like purse stuff too because yeah. I don't want to bring a purse. Um, and then in here is perfect place for also for all hard drives as well. And then this is the camera bag section. So that thing is like the best thing ever. Yeah. Mine's so, really simple. Also, oh wait, hold on, I'm not saying there's more to it <laughs> than this. Strap here uh, helps you uh, hold a tripod. So you just like put the tripod in these little things, you cinch it up, and then you literally have your entire setup with you and it all fits and it's just perfect and amazing. So there yeah. you go. Mine's super simple. All I carry is like, this has my chargers and my computer in it. Mm -hmm. The reason I say that is you need to have a good carrying bag that you can carry with you very quickly, very efficiently and easily, mm -hmm. along with our normal bags. So we carry our toiletries, our clothes, our coffee setup, and our work setup. We can pack it about that fast. Everything goes with everything. Super simple, we have mm -hmm. it figured out. All right, hopefully that was helpful and filled the tips. Um, I think that we do, packing is probably one of the better things we do with minimalism. So hopefully that is helpful. Mm -hmm. um, if you do anything differently, let us know. If you have really, I mean, we, we keep finding these travel hack things like Aubrey's bag or the grinder in the AeroPress um, or just having a really good jacket. Like things that we've, we've done that have just all of a sudden way mm -hmm. easier travel. I'm sure there's things we have left to find. Um, let us know if you have wicked travel hacks. Uh, just leave a comment and yeah, that'd be awesome. that would be great. We're gonna go have fun traveling, so yeah. we'll talk to you guys soon. And uh, yeah, see you soon. Bye guys. See ya.